This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, so in this class, we'll discuss about uh, types of flows. So we have already know what is a flow and how to how do we create the flows, right? So if I just open any of the flow, we can able to see this flow is mainly responsible for creating the work object ID. So this is what we have seen. And if I just open any other flow using this case type also, so each and every flow, what we are trying to do, that has to be either used as a main flow or it has to be called from some other flows. So if you're opening this, this particular case type flows, we can able to see one py start case as the main flow and rest all these are the flows that are being called within this. So it will be having one sub process shape within that and it will be calling each and everything, right? If I run this particular case type flow, what it will be doing, it will be running this py start case and it will be executing this flow first, this flow second, third, fourth, likewise. So it has to loop for all the loop, all the flows. That is what we are saying. Meaning there should be one main flow which is responsible for creating the work object IDs. And if I run the flow either in this way or this case type, whatever we are seeing will be just having the flow actions loaded and we can able to submit it. So are we finding any option of we coming back? So if I just run this, I can able to see one main flow created with the work object ID. So one work object ID created if I run the flow in this way or if I run the case as well, case type as well work object ID will be created, okay? And we will be having something like in submit option, save, cancel. So these are all the things what we are getting it from the OOTB section, okay? If I just enter any details here, if I just click on submit button, if the user wants to make any changes in the screen number one, so it is not possible here, clear, right? So we cannot able to come back. So we have only option of saving it till here or submitting it. So if I just click on cancel, work object will be canceled. If at all, if user want, a user information needs to be updated, what it has to be done. So I cannot able to do it here, okay? So in that cases, where if you want to make the user to make modifications in the previous screens, we have to go for another type of flow. So that is called as a screen flow. So we'll be having two types of flows. So that is process flow and screen flow. So whatever the thing we are trying to see all the time till now is called as a process flow. Okay, so this is a process flow, this one, this one, everything will be considered as a process flow what we're seeing so far. And there will be cases where we have to make use of the screen flow. So the purpose of the screen flow here is we can able to either go front or back also. If I just have 10 screens, if I'm the screen number one, if I want to directly jump to screen number 10, it is possible. If I want to jump to screen number two back from 10, it is also possible. Okay, so based on the business scenarios, we have to make use of the screen flow or we can able to go use of the process flow. Suppose if any requirement, if I want to have five screens one by one filled automatically. So if there is any specific order defined for that, if you, if the, if you want to make user to enter screen number three after screen number two only, then you have to go with these process types. Okay. And if you want to directly jump to screen number 10 or from screen number nine, if you want to come back to screen number two or one, anything. So if you want to go in any other, any order, then we can able to go for this screen flow. Clear, right? So there will be two types of flow, that is process flow and screen flow. And there will be minor differences between these two. So the creation of the screen flow is also very similar to creation of the process flow. So creation wise, both are same. So while creating any of the flow, we will be just marking one thing. So if we just mark that particular change, particular thing, it will be considered as a screen flow automatically. If we are ignoring that particular thing, it will be considered as a process flow. So let me create one process screen flow. So if I just want to create screen flow, as I told you, creation will be same as it is. I'm creating something like sample. Okay, if I just click on create and open, so normal flow will be created. So that will be considered as a process flow. So that's what we have seen. And if we just click on this view advanced configuration, if you mark this one, standard template for screen flows, if you mark this, then automatically this flow will be considered as a screen flow. Okay, so it will be automatically closed. There will be some issue in the personal edition. You have to open it again. There will be many simple flows again.
I'm opening this. So this is the flow what I have created just now. Okay, so you don't find any difference between process flow and similar flow in the design wise, look wise. Okay, we can able to see everything same, right? So this, but this is the screen flow. As I told you, the main purpose of the flow is to create the work object ID. We can able to see one work object ID created. Okay, so in order to create the work object ID in the process flow, what we are trying to do, we'll be going to the process tab and we'll be marking this. Okay, but in the screen flow, we will not, we cannot able to make any modifications to this checkbox. Meaning, screen flows are not responsible for creating the work object IDs. No work object ID. Here we can able to create work object ID. Work object ID is possible. Here, screen flows are not meant for creating the work object IDs. So if any of the flow is not meant for creating the work object ID, the purpose of this flow is to call this flow into another flow. So that is the thing, right? So you, you, here we can able to see. So only PY start case will be having work object ID creation option. So rest you open any of the flow, you will not be having this work object ID creation thing. So this will be disabled, meaning this should be considered as a subflow. Subflow meaning a flow which is called into another flow. So this will be considered as a subflow for this flow. This will be considered as a subflow. Okay, so this all will be considered as a subflow. Subflows meaning which is type which is to be called into another flow, and those flows are not meant for creating the work object IDs. The same thing we are trying to observe here. So whatever the flow I'm trying to create now is a screen flow. And the screen flow is also not given option to create any of the work object ID. Meaning screen flow is also one of the subflow, and this has to be called only into another flow. So another flow meaning. I cannot able to call this into another screen flow, right? So I can able to call it, but even that screen flow will not be responsible for creating the work object ID. Okay, ultimately all the screen flows are to be called into main flow called process. So process is the flow where we can able to create the work object ID. For sure, we have to run the flow to create the work object ID only, no? So all the screen flows, what we're trying to create, those are not meant for directly executing. So those are to be executed only from the process flows. So the difference between screen flow and process, process flow as of now here is, we can able to have work object ID created with this, and there will not be any work object ID created with the process, sorry, screen flow. Clear, right? So that is one major important difference. So this is the screen flow, and here, if I want to add multiple things. So let me make few modifications here. So let me delete this. I'm trying to include three assignment shapes. Okay. And, and in order to include any of the flow action, what we'll be doing, we'll be just double clicking on that. We'll be just double clicking on the output connector of the assignment. So in the process step. But here, in order to include the section, so assignment purpose is to load the flow action and flow action is to load the section. And the flow action, what we'll be doing, we'll be loading in the outward connector of the assignment shape usually. Now, if I just double click here in the outward connector, are we seeing anything? Meaning we cannot able to link any of the flow action in the outward connector. So I'm just talking specific to screen flow now. So screen flow, if I want to include any of the flow action into the assignment shape, that is not possible in the outward connector. But where can we connect this? So this has to be connected on the assignment directly. If I double click here, there will be something called as a flow action. Okay. So if I just erase this and click on down arrow, I should be getting all the flow actions applicable. So did you find the difference between uh, process and screen here? So process flow, for the process flow, we have to call set flow action on connector. And here, flow action on assignment shape. So this connector is just a dummy. We cannot able to give anything. Only the name can be given to the connector, that's it. Okay, so I'm trying to include some flow actions here. So all the flow actions are to be given only in the assignment shape. Okay, 
and if i double click here so this is assignment shape where i'm trying to call one of the full action if i double click here what if i just want to give any of the routing okay here in the process flow where did we give the routing routing we have given on the double clicking of this particular assignment shape in the process tab double click on the assignment shape there we can able to select either current operator or the reporting manager work list or work basket anything but here if i want to have this particular assignment to be worked by one single operator are we having anything like routing so we will not have it here okay we will not having it will not have anything like in routing okay and if i just want to have one perform harness called we can able to call harness across each and every assignment shape that is performed by default and are we finding anything like in perform harness or any harness being called here that is not called so if i just save it and if i just call this particular screen flow from any of the process flow and if i run that process flow i will be having this screen flow executed and i will be having customer details section loaded because of this and the next section and the next section will be loaded so how it will be loading all this without having the perform harness so by default if i run the flow perform harness will be executed start shape will be executed first perform harness will be executed and within this perform harness it will be loading the odb section and within that section full action and the corresponding buttons will be loaded but here i cannot able to see any of the perform harness loaded we can able to see i cannot able to select any of the harness but still we can able to get it get the output properly meaning this harness and the routing is being called in some other place so that will be in the start shape so this is important so in the start shape we can able to have something like in harness call and there will be something like in routing okay we have harness and routing on start shape but here we will be having on the assignment level itself directly okay so you understood now so the difference between screen flow and process flow here is this is not responsible for creating the work object id and we will be having flow action called from the assignment shape not on the connector okay and we can able to have this harness and the routing called on the start shape so meaning uh, if i just define this routing uh, this is routing right if i just define this routing on the start shape uh meaning only one operator who is responsible who is given for this particular routing has to be work on all the assignment shapes so this entire flow has to be given with one operator specifically i cannot able to have this assignment should uh, to be worked by operator one this is two this is three that is not possible individual assignments routing is not possible within the screen flow so screen flow has to be work complete screen flow has to be worked by only one person so that is the concept here okay so if i just open any of the work object id and start entering screen number 1 details and i have to go to screen number 10 and i have to enter i can able to enter remaining details so if i just enter screen number 1 and 2 it should not be the case where it has to be given to the next operator for entering screen number 2 3 or rest of the things so wherever we are using for the screen flows all the assignments within the screen flow has to be worked by only one operator so that is the reason they will be having the routing concept included in the start shape directly okay so no other operator can have, once once he is getting started no other operator can able to have the same workflow with the same work object id routed so that is one of the important thing and we can able to have this flow action on the connector for the process tab we can able to have this flow action called on the connector we know for one particular flow action one particular assignment shape we can able to have multiple Uh, outward connectors right we can able to have multiple outward connectors so within multiple outward connectors i can able to have different different flow actions but that is not possible here in case of screen flows in screen flows i cannot able to go with multiple uh, flow actions so this has to be called only on the assignment shape that is the another important difference okay and here we can able to have the harness also called so we can able to use many of the ovotb harness this is one thing so if i just want to have it like a tree grid we can able to go there okay and next important thing here is commit okay so there will be commit operation at the end of each and every assignment shapes so if in the process tab if i have 10 different assignment shapes if i just enter screen number 1 details and click on submit 
automatically data has to be stored into clipboard because of OOTB commit. Okay, so that is the uh, that is the responsibility of any assignment shape. And even here also, if I just enter the details of the screen number one, assignment number one, and click on submit, it will be going to the next screen. So by this time, we'll be having all the details stored into the database also. So behavior-wise, there is no difference as of now. But if you want to make it something like a difference here, we can able to have this checkbox. Save on the last step, meaning what it will be doing. So at the end of this particular flow shape, sorry, at the end of this particular screen flow, so if I just have 10 screens, if you want to store all the details onto this database only after completing the 10th screen, then you can able to go this option. So this option will not be available for process flows. This will be available only for the screen flows. Okay. So this will be mainly used in, in terms of in bank transactions. So only, sorry, uh, in the online shoppings usually. So if we just enter the necessary product and the quantity, and if you just to provide the billing address, shipping address, and your payment details. Okay, so this will be considered as in each and every screen. In the last screen, if the payment is successful only, meaning, so this save will be happening only on the last step. If the payment is successful only, you can able to have one order com created completely, meaning all these details will be stored into the database. So in this kind of scenarios, we can able to go with this approach. Okay. So this option you will not be having for the process step. Sorry, process flow. Clear, right? So let me save this. So you will not be having any option of creating the work object ID. So you will not be having anything here. This will be disabled. And in order to run this flow, we have to call this into another process flow. That is the only option. Okay. So if I just want to make modifications to this and want to call the screen flow from a process flow, what I have to do? I have to go for a sub process shape. Okay. So sub process is a shape where we can able to call one flow into another flow. So when we're working with previous start case, we have seen one blue color smart uh, start shape. Uh, sorry, sub process shape. Within this, we can able to call another flow. And if I, if at all, if I want to run the screen flow from another flow, I have to make use of this sub process shape only. So let me make two modifications and make use of the screen flow here. So here, so this is one of the flow where we'll be have, making use of the process only, right? So as soon as I run the case, what it will be doing, it will be executing this particular stage one and it will be executing this flow. In this flow, it will be executing this one and this one. And now I want to make few modifications here. And I want to make all the personal details, like personal details, nominee details, everything. I want to make use of the screen flow. So with the screen flow, the advantage here is we can able to have back option as well as the front option. Okay. So I'm trying to make few modifications to the existing flow and I want to 